Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Replay Rabbids Go Home. Alright, an entirely new level setup. These are a pain in the butt. Uh, I think one of the levels I don't 100% is one of these, although I easily could have. But at the time, well, I'll explain it when we get there. So, there's going to be some pointless... I have the hiccups. There's going to be some pointless busy work in this level. Largely involving us swinging the Wiimote to knock this jet engine off. I don't know why this isn't just an automatic thing. But yeah, they make you swing the Wiimote and keep it in the green area for like six seconds to knock it off. But it just seems, it seems like that's an impossible thing to not be able to do. It just seems weird that they would make that like it was some sort of challenge. And there's no real reward. So anyway, now we're riding a rocket engine. All we can do with it is steer it and accelerate it. Um, it sucks in stuff through the front. When it sucks in people, you still get five feet for them. So it's the same as hitting people. But these levels are designed to be super fast, so... We're not going to play it that way. I mean, it'll still be a faster level, but... And some things that you suck in will give you a boost, so... That's always nice. But there is a trick to 100%ing these levels that you might miss. Um, and we'll talk about that uh, in a moment. Alright. And you can take some hits. Obviously, we've got quite a few light bulbs at this point. I would suggest you do these stages with a lot of light bulbs. Like, later redo them. Uh, unless you're so good that you can, you know, you can get it with three or whatever. It's... It's not, a spe this one's not especially hard to 100% without taking three hits. But these people are a little, it's a little weird that these people are where they are, but. So, uh, when you go in a level like, when you go in a section, like this section of the level, there'll be verminators. And the whole idea is to suck them in. And that's fine, you, you'll see that they hang on the front. You don't get points for picking them up. You, if you, uh, if you hit the trigger, um, which I think is the Z button. Uh, if you hit that, uh, no, it's B. If you hit B, uh, it'll suck them into the jet engine, and you'll you'll have a super boost like this, uh, and you'll get the points for actually sucking them through the engine. So you actually want to make sure you use all of them before the level's over. Otherwise, there'll be like 15 uh, items you can't find because they're verminators that never got eaten. You'll pick up two in this tunnel. So. And uh, watch out for razor hot fan, fan, fan blades. Something that's never made sense to me. The idea of like why would fan blades be razor hot? They're like enough of an obstacle as it is. Razor hot. I mean uh, red hot. So there we go. We've got our two verminators. So now we have three hook, hooked onto the, the front. I don't know if you already have three on the front. You pick up one if you actually... If it sucks them through automatically. But, but we're going to... Uh, we will run our super boosts a little later. There'll be another pickup vermin verminator area. And we'll run it down to one there. Because one's the best you can do, and you'll see why. Alright. So, uh, doing well. The easiest thing in here is to, the, as far as mistakes go, is to just miss a person. Uh, but it won't suck them in twice, so... And this level certainly looks a lot better if you play it the way it was designed, but... So there's another one. Okay. So we will get, there'll be three, three Verminators in this area as well. So we will get the three more boosts. So, see, uh, because you'll have a time limit once the last one is collected and the barrier goes down. So we want to get rid of our two. So we only have one boost to waste. And I use it right away just to get up to speed in the tunnel, essentially. And then I don't even accelerate because the, the, uh, the glowing like tube things that we collect a lot of in this level automatically give you a boost, and you'll see it. See, I'm not pushing to accelerate at all in this run at this point. 
Every one of those you you pull in. Like, gives you more energy. I don't know what they are. Maybe they're rocket fuel. That would make sense. So, now we don't have any Verminators, so we just have to get, you know... And there's going to be a bunch of these at the end. And that's the hardest part. Like, really, is because you're going so fast. And you don't have a chance to turn around. It's going to run you right into the end. So you got to, like, get those, and then bam. So, we are going to do another level in this video, which is nice. And it's also going to introduce another recurring kind of level design, so... Yeah, those things, those, like, electrified neon-looking... I don't know. Whatever they are. So, rapid-fire reaction is perfect. So, down the toilet we go. Now... The game also has cow levels. This one is the first one. It's a high stakes stake. Uh, these levels are being done in the order that they're revealed to you, so enjoy that, I suppose. And obviously, you know, we know what our XL object is going to be, but uh, a lot of these levels, um, high stakes stakes is not actually one of them, uh, tend to be you chasing the cow. And whether or not you fail the level, like essentially your time trial is based on keeping, not getting too far behind the cow that you lose it. So uh, we do get a we do get a collector rabbit right away here. I I think twenty feet is the uh, the minimum we have or the 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 perfect score at this point. It's a little weird to have a collector rabbit that quick. So now we'll have another blower rabbit rabbit issue. Again, you can tell this is a late replay because I think I actually got this is one of the levels I got 999 on initially. I'm pretty sure about that. So it wasn't that I couldn't do it, it was just that I had missed one single stupid thing. I probably left it in here. So, this is another Collect Five Pipes thing. Uh, not a big deal, really. Uh, there's a little jump here. You gotta hit the, to get the pigeon, so. So hit it! Alright. Alright, I don't think we missed anything, so. And now there'll be a lot of little jumps around here. They're actually kind of fun. This is a nice little, like, free-range, kind of no-timed collection area. And uh, this level actually has one of the more famous kind of bonus things in the game. And I will talk about it here. I'm going to put a better... I'll do better kind of video thing about it at the end for bonuses. Because we will have several. Yeah, the pool statues are easy to miss. If you don't know that they're collapsible items that you can collect, like, you can miss them pretty pretty easily. And this was a little weird, too, where you have to go back up the stairs and jump it, but, I mean, doable. And now a room full of dogs! Pretty easy to clear out. I don't even know if these dogs are capable of hurting you. Uh, the Chihuahua, anyway, brand of attack dog in this game. And we will get them, like, uh, just a large percentage of our items are going to come out of this house. So, we will, uh, uh, well... The fountain's a little fun, too. Just the whole area around the fountain and stuff. It's fun. It's like a new... And now you'll see, like, the water really slows you down if you stop in the water. Uh, I hear I'm pushing against the, the... But even outside of it, I mean, we really are going slow. The super boost is actually uh, probably the most useful move in the game. You get really used to it. I mean, you get used to just doing the flaming skid thing automatically as you're running around and stuff. So, and yeah, they have these like these pool statue things. They sit in the middle of nowhere. 
We're going to have a little problem with those a little later, but... In another cow level, actually. Not to spoil things. One of the levels we don't end up 100%ing is a cow level. So. Yeah, and you gotta watch it, because knocking the helmet off this guy doesn't knock his clothes off. Uh, it's the same thing with the dogs, usually, is like, a dog with a helmet knocking it off won't necessarily kill the dog, but it will knock off the helmet. So you just have to hit things twice. So, when you go in this room, if you watch closely on the right wall, there's a picture of Chuck Norris. It's like, obviously supposed to be some sort of dojo. And it's like a rabified picture of Chuck Norris. See, there it is. And, uh, you won't get a good view of it here, but, like, you, like I said, I'll ma I make a bonus video. I mean, I've already made a bonus video where you get about the best shot you probably could. So, you have two more pipes to collect. And, uh, they're, they're really, uh, I mean, we left the obvious ones because they didn't want to have to... Essentially, what I was worried about is, in a level like this, the problem is that you might, uh, you know, if you forget something, or, you know, you forget something near the blower rabbit, and you go up and get it, you might accidentally hit him, and he'll, you know, once you've gotten the five pipes, there's nothing you can do about it. If you don't have the five pipes, you can drive all over his space, and, I don't know, it just strategically makes a lot of sense. I don't know if I just didn't not, if I, if I didn't realize that I'm, I was, like, I'm, yeah, that I'm missing a pipe, but it's pretty obvious if you're paying any attention to the video where it is. It's just in the corner of a room, just being a pipe all by itself. And there we go. So now we get to watch the rabbit blow his uh, Ricola horn made out of, or Ricola horn made out of uh, pipes. Yeah, he does dive under there. I never noticed that before this post-commentary stuff. We just get on with it! Anyway, uh, so, uh, we actually can at this point, I believe. 165 seems to be our target, so, again, a nice, a nice number for, like, a full clean-out. Now, this level actually does have dumpsters in them. So, you could exploit the dumpster glitch here. And again, I'll, I'll show that, but it essentially is hitting the dumpster with the rabid, waiting for it to spit out some items, and then hitting it with a super boost. The timing is not as hard as it sounds. But I actually recorded myself teaching myself to do the trick. So, I really thought... I, like, that is essentially it, but you can wait more time. Tons more time. So now we actually will have to, I believe, chase the, uh, the cow. Oh yeah, without a doubt. So you want to keep kind of a, a flaming skid going almost this entire time, because there are going to be people on your path. You need to hit them. Like that. And you need to hit them with a the super boost, because you don't have enough time to really, you know, go after them, go after them. Luckily, this level's pretty forgiving. The cow moves pretty, pretty slow. But we've had three dumpsters we could have done, you know, we could have exploited to get more points. All right. This little slalom thing, it's nice. I mean, it's it's pretty basic game design, but it works. It makes you move back and forth. Kind of do it mindlessly, actually. I got pretty good at it. All right. And here's our fourth dumpster, so again... Could have really in a fifth, because you hit the you hit it like now and then. Well, no, it was before that. I mean, usually right when you see them on the screen, it's not a problem once you've hit them to get to them with the flaming skin. I mean, we got a thousand on this level anyway. It's not like we need to exploit a glitch. But we could have been it could have been so much easier for us if we only had known what we were doing. So, now what it'll do is it'll spit us out the end. And, uh, jeez. A Verminator is going to spit a bomb onto the cow's head, I believe. Is that right? 
No, this is the end. That That's later levels. So, that's our thousand run. So, you guys take care. And uh, we get two levels done. That's awesome. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. So, uh, thanks for watching. And bye, everybody.